Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sheila's ghost, further devious dead than alive? Sheila Carter dies in scene resembling psycho Sheila Carter shows up in fancies that hang her son Finn on BNB. The most recent Sheila incarnation shook John Finnegan to his core. She appeared to him as a bloody mess on the bottom. Also his nut job of a mama turned to Finn, asking him for help. He jumped off that settee so presto that he jarred Steffi Forrester, who doesn't see Sheila's apparition. A bunch of problems come with these fancies for Finn this week on Bold and the Beautiful. He's seeing effects veritably easily, but not at all like what really happened. Finn imagined Steffi slashing at Sheila with a cutter, much like Norman Bates slashing his victim in the movie Psycho's shower scene. When, in all actuality, Steffi was reluctant to stab Sheila and did so at the last nanosecond when she dived at her. And the cutter went into the nine-toed woman only formerly. These images that appear to Finn have it all wrong, right down to the clothes his mama wore at the time of her death. Rather of her home eruption outfit, seen below, her son sees her neatly dressed in business vesture. He also sees her as a victim asking for help. BNB spoilers painting a picture or screwing mind? So, bold and beautiful, may have Sheila's ghost painting a harsh picture of Steffi, the killer. Or, Finn's mind is deteriorating. Perhaps he rationalizes his passions toward his mama by making her more normal and imagining his woman. As the bone. Who's vicious and vengeful. But if this is the ghost of his mama, she's manipulating her son's studies about his woman. But it's more likely that commodity has gone wrong with the good croaker. S. Mind. After a crazy indication surfaced this week, Finn might not be playing with a full sun deck soon on Bold and the Beautiful. Bold and the Beautiful spoilers Sheila's dull death scene Sheila Carter's death scene was mundane when compared to other death scenes scripted for Bold and the Beautiful in the history. When it comes to Sheila in any scene that contains drama, she's generally over the top. But not in her death scene, a couple of gurgles and sputters, also she checked out. These images Finn sees tend to make Steffi Forrester look like a cold, thoroughbred killer. So, if this is the ghost of Sheila Carter, she's as devious and manipulative in death as she was in life. But where is bold and the beautiful going with this? Sheila Carter could be a ghost seen only by her son. Or another possibility, and a more doable one, Finn is losing it a little more each day. BNB spoilers a beautiful mind it looks like BNB pens are fascinated with old blockbuster pictures this week. They put a cutter in Steffi's hand and had her go at Sheila in Norman Bates fashion in her hubby's vision. Next, they adopt a line from a Russell Crowe movie that may offer an indication about what's going on with John Finnegan. As Steffi and Finn bandied Sheila Carter on the cleaner, Steffi said commodity veritably odd. She offered all the reasons why she loved her hubby so much. One of the numerous means she mentioned happed to be his beautiful mind. In the movie A Beautiful Mind Russell Crowe's character is a genius who suddenly becomes stricken with shocking visions. It's such an odd thing to say, that bold and the beautiful likely threw that in for a reason. The death of Sheila is a stressor so perhaps whatever Finn suffers from was brought on by the news of Sheila's death. Of course, there's always that chance that Sheila Carter is back in spirit to hang her son. However, this suggests that she's still on a charge from beyond the grave, if that's the case. But, it's further than likely John Finnegan is stricken by commodity rare. Also that would mean Sheila Carter only haunts her son in his beautiful mind. That said, all of this could fall by the wayside if Sheila turns up alive. Numerous suckers suppose her lackluster death happed for a reason, and that's because it was faked. But that's another proposition rolling around out there about what the CBS cleaner planned for Sheila Carter. Finn's dreams lead to Sheila's deliverance. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that John Finn Finnegan is visited by dreams of his birth mama, Sheila Carter. Finn believes that his woman, Steffi Forrester, killed his mama in their deep water home. Still, it seems that Sheila could be reaching out to Finn to save her. Is Sheila being held nearly and in need of deliverance? The bold and the beautiful spoilers 
John Finnegan feels Sheila Carter's presence the bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that although Finn told Steffi that he feels like a connection has been disassociated, he seems more drawn to Sheila than ever. Finn had a strong connection to Sheila, indeed, though they didn't know each other well. Is there a reason he's so drawn to his natural mama? The bold and the beautiful spoilers Finn's dreams lead to Sheila's deliverance Sheila's connection to Finn could be the one thing that saves her if he realizes she's reaching out to him. Sheila said she had been meeting with someone from her history so commodity could really be wrong. Maybe this person from Sheila's history may have locked her down nearly and also failed while impersonating Sheila. BMB spoilers, Finn, help me Finn isn't bothered by just any comment. Sheila was asking Finn for help. Finn sees Sheila asking him to help her after she has been picked. Could Sheila be hurt nearly and calling out to her son? Could someone have conceivably switched places with Sheila? Does Steffi have another adversary that could have come after her? Could Finn sense that Sheila didn't die that night by Steffi's hand? Maybe the plan was for this person to frame Sheila for Steffi's murder and ended up dead rather. Could Sheila have made a deal with this person and been double-crossed? Did Sheila's person from her once turn out to be her look likewise? Was Sheila Carter kidnapped? Sheila said she was meeting someone from her history, but who and why? Sheila may have made plans with this person and been double-crossed. Maybe Sheila hired this person to kill Steffi in her place. After all, it's not like Sheila hasn't faked her death ahead. Could this have been Sheila's plan each along? Sheila may have gotten in over her head and ended up in a trap. However, maybe Sheila needs someone to deliver her, if Sheila's ringer is responsible. Else, Sheila may be hiding out, since she's supposed to be dead. Will Finn hear to his instincts and save Sheila? Is Finn and Sheila's connection stronger than anyone thinks? Finn crashes with Aunt and uncovers buried family secret? The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Luna Nozawa is starting to spend further time at R.J. Forrester's sand house, so it may not be long before he asks her to officially move by. Poppy Nozawa has been living at Luna's apartment, so Luna may let her mama keep it if she starts living with R.J. permanently. Considering all the pressure between Luna and her mama, she might be eager to let Poppy have the place to herself. Of course, being around RJ more frequently could be delicate for Luna in some ways. Luna is floundering under the weight of the secret she's keeping about her accidental drugging and hallucinating Zend Forrester Dominguez in bed. At the same time, RJ's consolation seems to bring Luna comfort, so perhaps she ll move herself that further quality RJ time is the answer to all her problems. Whatever the case, BNB spoilers say Poppy could find herself with some redundant space, so could she let Finn crash at her pad for a while? It's easy to imagine Aunt Poppy inviting Finn to move in temporarily, since Finn's been driving himself crazy with all the Sheila Carter fancies at the precipice house. Finn could use a break from feeling so haunted, but sleeping at the office isn't veritably peaceful. Poppy might get updates on what Finn's going through and prompt him to come stay with her rather. It'd be a great nod to the history since Finn and Poppy preliminarily lived together along with Finn's parents back when he was in council. There's been some enterprise that Finn could be Luna's natural father grounded on that time under the same roof with Poppy, but we'd say Jack Finnegan is the more reasonable option. It seems likely Poppy hooked up with Jack or indeed had a full-blown affair that she no way told Lee Finnegan about. Still, could it jog his memory about commodity and get the bus turning? If Finn starts living with Poppy again. Perhaps a new roommate arrangement could set the stage for Finn to put the maternity mystification together and determine that Luna is his half-family, not just his consanguineous kinsman. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Finn could uncover some shocking news sooner or latterly, so stick with us for further prognostications about Luna's maternity curveball.